Welcome to another session of our Mass Effect 2 playthrough. Yesterday was a big day. We finished the main story for the game. And all that's left is to do three DLCs. We've got Lair of the Shadow Broker, Overlord, and The Arrival. So those are going to be fun to do. I have never done any of the DLC before, so I'm going to be playing them blind. Remington's probably happy about that. Actually get to see me not know what's going to happen. So we're going to start off today with the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC. I'm not sure how we begin this, so we're going to read up. We also have an email that I should probably read before this. But yeah, we finished up the main story yesterday, and... No messages for you, Commander. Spoilers, we may or may not talk about it in this session today, so if you haven't seen it, um, maybe just not watch? <laughs> um, so we finished that up yesterday, and all that's left is, like I said, three DLCs, so we'll do that, and then we'll jump straight into Mass Effect 3. Um, today is Friday, so hopefully during the weekend I can get all that stuff set up. So that way come Monday or more than likely probably Tuesday. I think we're still going to be doing DLCs for Mass Effect 2 on Monday. Um, Monday or Tuesday we can jump right in without having to take a day or two off in order to get all that stuff set up. So we'll see how it goes and uh, should be fun. So let's read this email that we have. We got this early on in the game and I didn't want to read it. So this says um, from Cerberus Information Processing, the CIP everybody. We are we are aware that your old friend Liara Tassoni has been hunting for the Shadow Broker for several years. We wouldn't mind helping her in that hunt, given the broker's past work for the collectors. Ah. Uh, the Shadow Broker worked for the Collectors? I, he's got to die, whoever it is. We recently uncovered some information that might give Liara a lead on where to find the Shadow Broker's base of operations. But unfortunately, she doesn't have much faith in Cerberus Intel. If you'd visit Ilium and pass it on to her as a gesture of goodwill, we'd appreciate it. So we have to go back to Ilium and talk to Liara then. Cool. Uh, I am down. I am down for that. So I guess we'll go to the planet first, and then I'll read about the quest and, and all that. Or the mission, rather. Bum, 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 bum. Give Liara intel. Outside, the concerts are always pretty trashy, though. There were a few decent ones. But even then, it just sounds... Just sounds bad here. <laughs> Talking about, um, there's a concert going on outside where Rubbington's is at, and he's forced to use his headset. But it's fine. You get that sweet, sweet immersion now. Bum, bum, bum. I'm very excited to see what this DLC is about. Like, I know it involves the Shadow Broker and Liara, but I am, like, super excited to see what it what happens here. Um, I think we'll probably change squad when we get into whatever mission we're going to do, but let's just go ahead and bring, um, I don't know, <laughs> Garrison Legion. Sure, why not? What are the people going to think when they see a, a Geth roaming around? I don't know. It'd be kind of funny. All right. Bum, bum, bum. I hope we have a, a legion trigger thing here. Robinson says, "Oh, by the way, I did YouTube the suicide mission where everyone dies. That was depressing." <laughs> Another difficult development for human I haven't seen it in a while. So I don't really remember what happens, but I imagine it's it's the worst ending. <laughs> It'll basically be our 
Witcher 3 Blood and Wine playthrough ending. Where it was just like so disappointing. So you bad. Were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. But it's nicer than Omega. I mean, it looks nicer. I should, I should rephrase that. Oh, trade kiosk. What is Legion going to say about this? You should try it my way. Yeah. Look at how the wind's blowing. Let's wait for that Volus to stop I, talking. Well, I guess it's not like I attacked those colonies. I'm just watching trends. Whatever you say. Pardon me. Sell. Sell at 40. The videos also had Femshep, and 100%, I 100% understand what you mean now. It just sounds so wrong. Oh, uh, playing as a, as Femshep? I mean, a lot of people seem to like Femshep, um, the way that she acts, and obviously I think the, probably the voice actress is a lot better than the male Shep. Um... But I just, I don't know, man. It's hard for me to play females in games. I don't know why. It's just, I've never really played females before, so. The trade of organics is proscribed on worlds you term civilized. Yet none of you question the limited freedom Edie is allowed aboard Normandy. <laughs> I might have to check out some of those videos this weekend. Kind of see what's going on. Yeah, it does. Living in a higher altitude. So, Liara system's hacking. Liara has all the data she needs for now. She may need more in the future, however. Talk to Liara later and see if she has any other problems. I'm pretty sure this connects to the Lair of the Shadow Broker DLC, I think. Cerberus has delivered information on purchases the Shadow Broker has made recently. They provide the information Liara to Sony needs to track down the Shadow Broker's location. Speak to Liara. Okay, so we'll ask her about the Shadow Broker then. Um, Remington says, talking about Femshep here, she doesn't seem to have much character either, which fits, but I've spent 1.5 months watching Shep and just nope. <laughs> You prefer male chef over femme chef, yeah. For sure, man. Shepard, it's good to see you again. So, what can I do for you? See if she has anything new to say. How's your own work going? The data you gave me was extremely helpful. It gave me a target. The Shadow Broker has several contacts here on Ilium. The most powerful is someone called the Observer. Taking down the Observer will put me closer to the Shadow Broker. I could use your help. Ooh. Okay, all right. I'm glad we asked that because I think that might be the continuation in that systems hacking thing. This is garbage. Uh, what do you need? Tell me what I can do to help. Your data pointed me at logs kept by Shadow Broker agents. The logs were deleted, but it may be possible to reconstruct some of it. The Shadow Broker is cautious. His agents are referred to only by their title and race. My inquiries have narrowed the Observer down to one of five operatives. A Turian, a Salarian, a Krogan, a Batarian, and a Vorcha. If you can refine the list, I'll know where to strike. Ooh, okay. Alright, so we've got a little bit of a sort of prologue to the Lair of the Shadow Broker mission here. Do you know anything else? Do you have any specifics on these agents? I'm afraid not. Nixeris was lucky to get as much as she did. I was happy to help, ma'am. The data is our only hope of determining which one is the Observer. And if we wait too long, they'll all disappear. Let's intimidate them. I won't do this. I'm on it. Let's try our Im intimidation skills here, Shepard. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this or not, but we'll, we'll see. Let me go talk to these people. I'll get the name you need. 
This is a delicate operation, Shepard. Uh oh. If you shake down one agent, the others will go to ground, and my chance will be lost. Liara is right. We need to get enough evidence to strike, and we need it soon. I'm more than capable of handling the violence, Shepard. I need your help gathering the data. Okay, alright. So, be sneaky-ish about it then. Got it. I'll reconstruct the data and tell you what I find. Thank you, Shepard. When you find something, call me on the radio channel we used in the old days. I can't risk handling this in person. The radio channel? I'll talk to you later, Liara. The old days. Find data fragments. Cool, alright. Dude, all right. That's I'm I'm down with that. Liara has asked for assistance. Reading out the Shadow Broker agent, the Observer. You better have like a thousand eyes or something. Uh huh. Uh huh. Find data fragments. Okay, so we gotta roam around Ilium and find these terminal things. By the stars, Let's do your that. Robertson says Liara went from a hundred to zero so fast between Mass Effect One and Two. Dude, I know. I don't know. Maybe maybe it's it had something to do with Shepard being gone for two years. She went down a dark path or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out a little bit more of why she has changed um, when we start this DLC. But let's do some good old hacking. Uh, wrap. It's this one. And green, 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 purple. There. Let's see. Are these audio logs? Data point five. Uh. Orchard Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a may have a grudge. Do we call her about this? Shepard, did you get any information on the Observer? Oh, so we have to read these terminals, and then that narrows down who we have to kill. And if it's right, then we're good. If not, then it's wrong. Okay, all right. Let me search for more data. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Let me know what you find. All right, so this is kind of like... This is some... Investigating stuff here. Okay, so once I hack it, I don't have to hack it again. Okay, good. Let's hack all the terminals and we'll find... Um, we'll read them all in order. That'll be easier. I don't think I've ever done this, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure this was in the base game, like the vanilla version. Don't think this is DLC, but we have saved it so that way we can kind of use it as a prologue a bit. Okay, so you hack one and it shows you all data points. Okay, cool. Alright, well let's hack all this stuff then. 25. Sell at 25. Sell at 25. No, you're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Ooh, this is there. sneaky, says Remington's. Yeah. I dig it. Alright, there's data point one. Are you shorting prefabs? Prefabs? No hackable terminals over here? Okay. So we gotta run around Ilium and find all of the terminals. There'll probably be some maybe in the Eternity Bar, maybe? How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. It seems weird that all of these Sneaky terminals are and speed. I have extremely high. Are like in uh, populated areas like this. Safe, too. 
I need a 100% safety guarantee of anything going on to my suit. This one. There we go. So we got one, three, four, five. So we need two. And I think that's it. Let's see if there's one in the bar here. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue. Galactic news. There may not be one in here, but check. Aha! There it is. Right here. Crap. Didn't mean to do that. Dude. Green. Oh crap, that was right above me. There we go. Had to do it four times because I accidentally hit one of those other ones. So... Find more data. Okay, um, so apparently there's more? So then he says, oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go back to it. Okay, well we've got one more section we can check. But so far we have five data points. That might be enough. But I, I don't know. There might be maybe one or two more that we need to read. So let's go to this side of Ilium real quick. But I'll tell you right now, I'm probably going to need some help with deciding who we have to kill. No data thing over here. Well, maybe in this section here. Ilium sees many human refugees, terminus orphans, and former slaves abandoned by Batarian raids. For many, the adjustment is difficult. Hey, we're friends. I have never called you that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think what? it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at? I might have been one of them. I might have been one of them. I guess five is enough. I don't see any. I don't see any um other terminals to hack over here. <laughs> Remington says, "Kill the very model of a scientist, Solarian." <laughs> She's the last of the. Dude, I love that little. Won't be many little clip there. Left in a few generations. I feel kind of sad. I didn't mean. Okay, look, I'll take another look at the contract. I feel like I should needs to be integrate that song in when you join the Blue Sun's in the the rest of our Mass Effect playthroughs. Whether we play that like at the start of the stream or at when we're ending or I don't know. That's too long for like a follower notification, so I can't do that. All right, let's read this then. So, I have no idea how we're going to put this story together because data point one says this. I don't know. I guess we'll, hmm. Vorture Trader has requested no further contact with Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. So, Observer recommends a kill. Alright. Turian contact working well with the Trader. Observer has rescinded... Uh, rescinded kill order against him. Given difficulty in securing contact with the Trader through other methods. 
So... Vorcha Trader? So when they say Trader, are they referring to the Vorcha? Working well with the Vorcha Trader. Okay. Number three, the Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing Assassin or Solarian contact. Uh, this is like one of those math problems where they they do the thing of like um, your friend has seven apples and your other friend has three of them and your other friend has two of them and i don't know it's weird it's weird assassin queen how's it going good to see you rubbington's reading one through five is too mainstream well it's it's not about that it's just like we start with one and it like is already in the middle of a sentence here so we just go we went we went uh backwards five to one uh, smuggler and assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to the lack of interest. Odd to see scruples from the men at this point. Smuggler. Assassin. I don't know. Right now we're trying to find out who the Shadow Broker's observer is. The, the Shadow Broker agent. And our clues are somewhere in this in these five points here. Trader tried to kill Batarian, so Vorcha Trader tried to kill Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Uh, I don't know. So when they when they are referring to Trader, it is the Vorcha, Vorcha Trader. So, Vorcha Trader tried to kill Batarian, claims it was because he hates slavers. But the men were more likely fighting over money. Okay. Smuggler and Assassin. I don't know who those are. I refused to work with the Vorcha due to lack of trust. Odd to see scruples from the men at this point. The Turian's asking too much questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing Assassin or Solarian. Dun, 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 dun. You want some LP? I know who did it. Um... I would say maybe give me a hint, uh, rather than just flat out tell me who did it. We're trying to. I'll try and figure this out before I look at chat again. Remington says might make more sense if you read them in order. Kappa. All right, we're going one, two, three, four, five, six. Trader tried to kill Batarian. Claims it was because he hates slavers, but the men were more likely fighting over money. Watch for now. Smuggler and Assassin have refused to work with the Vorcha due to lack of trust. Odyssey scruples from the men at this point. Scruples? Scruples? Smuggler and Assassin. Don't know which one are those. But we know the Vorcha is the traitor. Uh, the Turian's asking too many questions. Observer recommends terminating him and framing Assassin or Solarian contract or contact. Number four reads, Turian contract working well with the traitor. Turian contract working... Turian contact working well with the traitor. So the Turian is working well with the Vorcha. Observer has rescinded kill order against him. So they don't want to kill the Turian anymore. Give a difficulty in securing contact with the traitor through other methods. Given difficulty in securing contact with the Vorcha Trader through other methods. So it sounds to me like the Turian is safe. 
Orchard Trader has requested no further contact with the Solarian. Solarian is becoming more trouble than he is worth. Observer recommends a kill, but she may have a grudge. The Solarian might have a grudge? I are confused. Maybe it would have been better to read them in the order that we unlocked them. Because I know five was first, and then probably three or something. So if we were to call Yara... Did you get any information on the observer? None of the suspects fit? Wait, what? We didn't have that option before. Kill the Solarian, kill the Vorcha, kill the Turian, kill the Batarian, kill the Krogan? There was never mention of a Krogan before. We know that the Vorcha is the traitor. The Turian could either be the assassin or the smuggler. I think more likely the smuggler is probably the Solarian. And the assassin would probably be the Turian. Huh. Wait, is it seriously none of the suspects fit? Is that the option? Think about the word she. Oh. Remington says there's four men and one woman. I kind of want to read those other the the entries again. She might have a grudge is something what that was said. That that was the fifth entry, right? It said something about um It said something about let's say the Solarian is becoming more trouble than he's worth, or, sh or something like that. And then it said something, she might hold a grudge. Talking about the Observer. So is the Solarian the she? Hang on, I think we might reload. I want to see what happens if I say this, because I want to back out and continue reading. Uh, Rebington says, killing the Solarian might cause her a grudge. Someone who's with Solarian. Hmm. Alright, let me hit this and back out. We might reload if this triggers something. All five of the suspects are male. The Observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. Wait, so... Was that it? Did we do it? I guess we did. Return to, to Liara's office and uncover the result of her hit on the observer suspect. So what so what was happening there is I was thinking too hard, is basically what you're telling me. Yes, you got it, says Assassin Queen. Okay. Remington says Slarin was a he in the entries. Okay. Yeah, so I guess we were just like trying to. I was thinking too hard, man. A Batarian trading group okay. has announced plans to sue the Citadel Council. <laughs> the Batarians claim that slavery is an inextricable part accidental of the puzzle solving. And Yay! The slave trade, the council <laughs> is violating their cultural rights. The well, I noticed that option was not there when we were looking through some of the entries and we called Liara. So it's not until you read all the entries and get all five of them. 
then it's like, okay, um, none of these suspects fit, I guess, so. Yeah, I was thinking too hard. Think too hard. And that lady is gone, so what happened to her? God. There's gonna be people that watch this from like six, six months down the line. They're gonna be like, are you dumb? Just hit that option. It's none of them. Shepard, it's good to see you again. Nixera's had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Oh, I'm poor, huh? So you're gonna give me the credits. That's crazy to have your, like, secretary be the one that was the Shadow Broker agent. That was the fight. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. Cause she's dead. Man, Liara. So savage. So what happens now? What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. <laughs> uh, how do you know the Shadow Broker's a he? As far as I know, I don't. We just know the Shadow Broker is a person. Um, Liara's needs. Is there anything else you need from me? No, you've done enough. If I find anything useful, I'll let you know. For now, I need to do what I do. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? I didn't get to ask those other questions. How's your own work going? I'm still waiting. Still hunting. The Shadow Broker can't hide forever. Even with Nyxeris dead, it could be years before I track the Shadow Broker down. But someday he'll slip up. And I'll be there. I'll talk to you later, Liara. So, this is interesting. I, I believe that quest was in the, the base game by itself. And they were hinting at, oh, there's a there's a Shadow Broker DLC coming soon when this game first released. It's pretty obvious, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Burton says, damn, Liara. Damn is right, says Assassin Queen. All right, well... Let's start the Shadow Broker DLC now.